Okay, it's Larry, we're back, tearing into the Firebird, ended up pulling the carburetor off. I did take some vacuum readings uh, before I did that. I uh, put the vacuum advance uh, holes where it belongs. It did clear up a little bit, it was definitely running rich. I did adjust the idle, uh, I'm actually at one, uh, one turn out, however, uh, it was still running a little rich, smoking out the back, and uh, I couldn't get rid of it, kind of stuttering, stammering. So uh, I went to set the float level after I set the idle, and lo and behold, I had the adjustment screw all the way in, and the fuel just kept running out. And uh, let me show you why that uh, why that was happening. Got the carburetor apart on the bench. Here's the front bowl. Uh, this float, the tang on this float, see if I can show you here, that tab right in there, when I move this float all the way up, it does not shut off the gas flow. See, it lifts the rod, but not enough to shut off the gas. And when I took the sight screw out and turned the adjustment screw all the way in, the fuel was just pouring out of here. And I'm not sure if I can bend that tang enough to get this to close. That's, that's closed all the way. But the float should be around level and close. And look, when I put it level, it just touches the tang, excuse me, the uh, needle to shut off the gas flow. So there's there's my first problem, which is uh, why it was running rich. And the other thing I discovered is the power valve. I'm not sure if it's shot, but uh, the diaphragm is kind of crinkly. You can see it in there. I'm going to get it cleaned out and then uh, test it with... See, it is holding vacuum. If I release the vacuum, it pops out. Try it again. Release. So the power valve is not shot, but it's the wrong size. So I'm going to replace it anyway. But the other thing is it's the wrong one uh, for this engine. I took my vacuum readings uh, in drive. So it's uh, it's way too small. It's it's opening way too early and dumping in fuel, uh, raw fuel into the engine and causing a rich condition. So I've been running like this for quite some time. So that's where I'm at so far. I'm going to have to get a rebuild kit and uh, get this thing rebuilt because obviously these gaskets are, uh, are no good anymore because they pried them off. Which kind of sucks, but uh, it is what it is. So, got a couple of problems there. Uh, this is a major problem here. But uh, other than that, the, the uh, rear float, uh, this is how it should work. See, it's up halfway and it, excuse me, uh, level, and it's shutting the needle off, shutting off the gas flow. So, the other thing I just realized is I'm going to need one of these crazy ass. Uh, bits in order to remove this plate because I can't get this gasket off without getting this plate out of here first so got some fucking around to do here but uh, I do feel a little better that uh, I'm on the right track I'm gonna get this thing rebuilt get the right power valve in it uh, um, again this one's too small so a lot of problems a lot of uh, extra fuel going into the engine um, found the plugs out the plugs are all uh, carboning uh, you know carboned up I'm going to keep plugging away here and uh, I'll let you know how I make out. If you have any input, by all means, uh, please leave me a comment. I appreciate it. Later. It's Sunday. I'm back. Ran up to Advanced Auto this morning and got a Holly Trick Kit rebuild kit. 
This is a 4160 card. It's actually uh, it's an 1850 4 600 CFM. And this kit is a trick kit and required has all the uh, required pieces for rebuilding this carburetor. And when I say pieces, I mean pieces. This thing is full of stuff. Um, look at all that crap. Holy shit, huh? See a power valve in there, some jets, a cork, uh, needle and seat. So, I'm gonna crack it open and uh, get going. Put this thing uh, back on the car, maybe get it running today, I hope. Alright, I'll be back. <laughs> 